Let me give you three ways to find out how to change anything, any life direction, any dimension. Here's three ways to find out how to change anything. Number one is to read. Become a good reader. All of the successful people I know and work with around the world, they're all good readers. Curiosity drives them to read. They got to know. They just read, 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 read. Become a good reader. Now, that's my opinion. Listen to the other lecturers and listen to me and make up your own mind. Don't be a follower. Be a student. Okay? I say, really, for life change, you got to read. One way to learn is from your own experiences. But another way to learn is from other people's experiences. See, one book might save you five years if you read it. Did you know there's books on how to be stronger, more decisive, be a speaker, be a leader, have a better effect on other people, develop your personality. Did you know there's books on that? And people don't read them? How would you explain that? And they can read? Did you know that hundreds of successful people have written their stories in books and they wrote down how they did it and people don't read it? How would you explain that? The guy's busy, I guess. You know, you get tied up. The guy says, well, yeah, you work where I work, but the time you struggle home, it's late. You got to eat a bite of supper, watch a little TV, get to bed. You can't sit up half the night reading, 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 reading. And the guy's behind on his car payment. Good worker, hard worker. Sincere, but you got to be better than sincere and work hard. Otherwise, at the end of your life, you'll wind up cold, stony broke. You got to be better than a good worker. You got to be a good reader. Get around successful people and listen. Now, you can also learn from unsuccessful people. Take notes on both, negative and positive. On the negative, the notes are called what not to do. And you got to learn what not to do as well as what to do. So learn from the negative as well as the positive. Okay? Find out what poor people read and don't read it. Right? That's good information. Learn from the negative. But now you can also learn from the positive. Get around successful people. Listen to what they say. Listen to how they say it. It's important. We've all got about 16 waking hours. Practice listening those 16 hours. And I say practice listening because listening isn't easy. I found out it's easier to talk than it is to listen. But if you will practice listening the 16 hours you're awake, sure enough from surprising sources comes great ideas. In sales training we teach, if you want to learn sales, listen to the kids. Kids have got to be the master salespeople of all time. They have no equal. Father tells his young son, no, you cannot have an ice cream cone. 30 minutes later, he's licking on one. <laughs> That'd be 30 minutes worth listening to. They got moves you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Persistence runs deep like the ocean. And the kids never took a class on how to overcome objections. <laughs> they already know how, they don't need classes. You tell kids no, that goes right on by. They give you three good reasons. You say no, it goes right on by. They give you three more. They're masters. So listen and learn. Now here's some of the best advice I've got for the whole evening. It won't get any better than this. This is it. Poor people ought to take rich people out to dinner and listen. That's some of the best I got. If a guy's not doing well, one of the first things he ought to do is find a guy that is doing well and offer to buy him his dinner. Spend 50, 60, 80, 100 dollars. Go for the full nine course. Start him on the juices and hors d'oeuvres. Get him started talking. The salad takes 15 minutes. Keep it rolling. Biggest steak in town takes 45. Keep it rolling. Pour on the dessert. Stretch that meal out about two hours. 
If you get a successful person to eat and talk for two hours, they're liable to drop ideas in your lap, change your life. Multiply your income by two, by three, by five. But you're right. Poor people don't usually take rich people out to dinner. That's the problem. The guy said he's rich, let him buy his own dinner. I'm not coming up with any money. And he says, besides, you work where I work, but the time you struggle home, it's late. You're lucky to get your own supper, let alone running around trying to find a rich man to feed. And the guy's behind on his house payment. Good worker, hard worker, sincere. But you got to be better than sincere, work hard. You wind up broke. You got to be better than a good worker. You got to be a good listener. And remember what you read and what you hear, put the good stuff in your journal. Now here's the third way to find out how to change your life. And that's to observe. You can pick up a lot of ideas just by watching. Get around successful people and watch. Here's why. Success leaves clues. Watch how the man shakes hands. Watch how the lady responds. People who do well do certain things over and over and over and over. And if you're clever, you can pick them up. Watch it all. If a guy's making $10,000 a month, I'd watch how he walks. Maybe that's it. Copy his funny little walk. Somebody says, well, that's kind of a silly walk. Say, it's 10000 I haven't got the money yet, but I got the walk. It's bound to start somewhere. What I ask you tonight is to be unusual and be a good observer of what's going on. You can pick up ideas that can change your life starting tomorrow. Just be a more careful observer. Now remember, there's two ways to see. One is called sight. See with your eyes. The other one is called insight. See with your mind. See with your eyes, you'll see things. See with your mind, you'll see answers. Put your eyes and your mind to work. And the best advice on developing sight and insight is pay attention. Don't miss anything. In the weekend seminar we teach, one of the greatest fatalities to success is preoccupation, lack of concentration. The guy's mind wanders. See, you wind up average. You've got to learn to zero in and concentrate. I read a good article one time, Reader's Digest. The title was, Wherever You Are, Be There. Excellent. Don't miss anything.